Alright guys, today's video is going to be about false pride and uh, this plague that has taken over mankind. It's, uh, it's almost a disease when you think about it, the, the way people are thinking these days. Um, what you're pretty much going to have to do is look at this world as a baby, as a brand new baby. Forget what you've been told. Uh, it's important to do that every day, to wake up with, with a new mind and a new insight because if you don't you run the risk of being one of these people who are solidified uh, like my own father who's very racial very you know very a very outspoken racist <laughs> to say the least um, you, you run the risk of being one of these people who puts on a jersey and, and roots for their team and uh, it's it, it's not supposed to be like that I'm, I'm just pointing out the obvious basically <clears throat> We're going to be talking about false pride and wh where does pride comes from? Well, it comes from handouts. Um, and I realized we were all brainwashed from the beginning. Um, in elementary school, most of you probably had to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. You had to quote unquote pledge your allegiance uh, to this flag. And I personally don't see flags. I don't see. I think that's <laughs> to me. It's a, it's a joke. Uh, tomorrow can be rewritten. Tomorrow these flags might not exist. You know, a few hundred years ago, some of these flags didn't exist. They're uh, they're generational illusions. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, the point of this is is people who are taking pride in things that they had no control over. Um, if you take pride in being an American uh, simply because you were born an American then that's false pride that pride doesn't exist uh, you didn't you didn't have a choice now if you can prove to me that when you know when you were in your mother's or you know, before you were even conceived if you can prove to me that you chose your destination and you had to do something to earn it then sure take pride in it I mean, if, you, if you're in the military and you're fighting for this quote-unquote fighting for this country when you're really fighting for the corporations, if you are in the military and you want to feel a sense of pride that you are uh, defending this nation and you feel like you're a proud American because of that, uh, that's, that's one way to look at it. But the general population is brainwashed into believing that they are superior to the rest of the world. You see it all the time, man. People, people are who talk about things that are going on in the world they don't talk about things that are going on in the world they talk about things that are going on in the US basically they are you know their tunnel vision only allows them to see one country they think that you know the, the end of the world is going to happen in this country they don't <laughs> it's almost like they don't realize there's a whole world out there uh, but anyways I digress the point is is that you were born here and you didn't have a choice so to act like you did and to take pride in that is ridiculous. And this goes all the way down the line. This goes uh, to race. This goes to uh, um, uh, sex. It, it, it's you know, your demographic, where you're, you're located. You didn't have a choice in any of these things. I mean, obviously you can move later on in life, but you didn't have a choice. You know, there was, not, there was no battle that had to be won in order for you to be white. There was no battle that had to be won for you to be black, quote-unquote. Um, there was there's no, there's nothing that you had to do. There was no accomplishment. You were born. You fell from between your mother's legs. That's the extent of it. If you want to take pride in that, then apparently you have accomplished nothing. And uh, if you're going to base all of your pride on these things, like I can't stand it when I hear somebody say, I'm a proud black American man, or I'm a proud white American female. You know, it's like, what did you do to get that? <laughs> what, what did you do? What mountain did you climb? You didn't do jack. Shut up. That's basically what I want to say to them. But, um, yeah, this, this is an illusion, man. Uh... The, the, the system that we're born into is an illusion. This whole... Uh, I don't get it, man. We're, we're all brothers and sisters. and To say anything differently is, is just... It's retarded. Right, I mean, you know... What, what do you want me to say? 
I can't I can't give you any excuses um, and and I realize right at this point I'm, I'm rambling so this is the point I want to make goals and accomplishments that's the only thing you can take pride in goals and accomplishments that's it you're not <laughs> you're not accomplishing anything by saying white power black power you're not accomplishing jack you're keeping the same cycle going wake the hell up and I and I'm gonna end this with a rant oh yes rant time I am so sick and tired of people of color looking at my quote unquote white ass as an excuse as a punching bag as a stepping stone as a ladder uh, whatever you want to use it as I'm tired of it okay I was born in the mid 80s segregation was gone uh, slavery was gone I never knew a world with that um, you can't blame me for that I will not take any responsibility for that even further I do not hold the weight of my entire race on my shoulders uh, quote unquote race because race is an illusion and I'll get to that in another video I'll destroy race it needs to be destroyed um, but you're not gonna blame me for what my ancestors did you see when I came onto this when I came onto this planet I came with a clean slate at birth anything that I've done up until this point from birth is mine I own that anything that happened before then I don't have one ounce of guilt for there's nothing you can do to make me feel guilty for something that I had nothing to do with you might as well blame me for the dinosaurs dying plain and simple so hopefully guys you can uh, start taking pride in your in your in your goals and your accomplishments and not in these facades of pride these pure illusions um, and delusions I, I am so sick of it get over yourself thanks for listening and one more thing uh, every time you hear somebody say go back to your country just remind that idiot that he's not in his country uh, remind him that he can carry his ass back to Europe uh, and give this land back to the natives uh, yeah that's what I basically say to my dad every time he says something stupid you know whenever he says go back to your country I just look at him and say go back to yours he shuts up so if that's what it takes that's what it takes I'm not for popular opinion Again, thanks for listening.